So earlier today, I was watching Breaking Bad, just scrolling through the news, and it found out that KSI was going to be fighting two people. And I was like, oh, that's really weird. It reminded me of the time that George Foreman fought like five people in one night. And they released this pretty cool looking graphic with KSI swarms and a question mark. And after a while, when I was looking through Twitter, there was a replacement of the silhouette with a KKK member. And I was confused. I was like, well, what's going on here? And it turns out that, uh, KSI's second opponent on August 27th is an interesting character. I just wanted to talk about it because it's just so wild that this type of thing is going on. So basically, you can see him here. Ignore the sign off to the side. We're going to get into that a little bit later. But there is a linked thread. I saw this really interesting one where they were talking about something called Blood Honor, Honor which was tatted on his left forearm. And... When you check out the Wikipedia link that's given right there, it checks out as some neo-Nazi music group or something. It's really odd. Now, there was also some responses to this information coming out because obviously there was. Uh, Ivan Nicolo, which is the guy in question, put out his own response. I have seen recent news regarding a tattoo referring to white power. This has absolutely no relevance to an outdated opinion and simply refers to my own belief in my strength and power as an athlete. I have no criminal record or no involvement with the police regarding any racial issues. I now understand how the tattoo can be misinterpreted, but I passionately distance myself from any other meaning it may have other than representing my force as a competitor. So I originally saw the screenshot from a tweet from Nicholas Diorio, and he posted a Google search next to it. And basically, pretty much everywhere, white power is associated with white supremacy and racism in general. You know, this isn't really like a political channel. I talk about political subjects like now and then. I try to stay away from them because it's cringy, you know? I'm just not that kind of guy. And it just gets really annoying after like five minutes, but that's aside. What I really want to talk about is the optics of this whole thing. In fact, there was a picture of Ivan allegedly with a bunch of guys who are throwing up the Nazi salute or one guy's throwing it up. One guy's like half throwing it up. It's really weird. It's just odd to have that kind of attention and press towards your event, which I mean, you kind of need, especially with Alex Wasabi pulling out like as fast as he did in it just left KSI just floating in the water and a lot of money would be lost unless you pull in somebody that would have a big troll. Now at this point, the ball's really in KSI's court as to what he's going to do. Are you going to come out and say, oh, this guy's a bad person and I'm going to take it down, take him down like this tweet here says, or are you just going to not regard it or be like, oh, I didn't know and I'm going to kind of just ignore him in the fight like did you not see him shirtless ever until like recently like what <laughs> did you not check this guy's fight film or anything was this like a recent tattoo like it's really weird uh just to see this kind of stuff out in the wild did did they not do any um research did they check in on this guy it's like uh, Kyler Murray, when he signed that contract with the homework clause and then tried to pretend like, oh, it was just nothing or it was this big surprise. So either you weren't paying enough attention or you were paying attention and you just disregarded it. It's really weird. Now, it's not a one to one comparison, but it still brings into consideration like what what's going through your head? Like, this is just bad optics. I mean, people in your own subreddit are calling for this guy to not be in the fight. To be fair, these are comments from the thread that I found earlier that Cavos posted, but still, like, this clearly isn't the best look for your brand to have somebody like this in there. Like, it's okay if you have a controversial person like Sam Hyde in there, because even though he's been called alt-right, like, he doesn't really do alt-right stuff to, like, in this degree. I don't even think I've seen him do anything alt-right at all, but that's a complete different story. This guy is, like, in deep. Like, this is... This is not good news. This is not something you really want attached to your brand, really. Like, I I couldn't associate with somebody like this. And I'm not the big brand that 
KSI is unless like I said earlier he decides to go all right this is the guy I'm taking down because I hate this type of ideology and I want all my fans to hate it and let's destroy this guy then that's a good idea you know it's interesting that this guy is like getting like white power tattoos and then he's getting like all these tattoos that are like associated with a certain ideology and then when he gets pressed on it he's just like uh whatever it's i don't associate with any of that stuff i understand how it could be misconstrued like yeah yeah and do i know for sure this guy is like you know an ss officer in the making no okay i'm not, I'm not saying that but he, you have to know he, even for him like why would you why would you not like make the correlation in your head like ah uh, maybe this isn't the best thing for me to put on my body pretty much permanently i know you can get them removed but like still he really he really should cover that up for the fight like just i feel like that would be the best idea just not have it as a thing that is broadcasted all over the world because people are going to be watching this on pay-per-view everywhere because ksi has fans everywhere i do find it interesting though how like angry people are about this like is this guy actually actually harming people no is his ideology really harmful yeah but like acting like he's trying to bring in the fourth reich is a little weird you can criticize his demeanor and stuff all you want and his ideology and him as a person because he's either really stupid or just a bad person <laughs> like oh i don't even know i can say that on youtube it's not like i'm gonna end up monetized or anything I always hear YouTubers say, oh, I, I don't know if I can say this, and then it leads over into sometimes what I say, and then I'm like, who cares? Like, I'm not getting regulated or anything. All in all, do I think KSI should cancel the fight? No, but he really should tread lightly here, because this is a delicate subject, like a delicate, delicate subject. Do you think the decision will come down to whether or not his PR team's like, uh, this, this backlash is a lot worse than we expected, we should cut it off, or if it's like, wow we're getting a lot more attention than we would have if it was just ksi versus swarms let's keep this going because it is interesting to see whether or not ksi will be able to fight two people people said a lot of the trawl of watching that fight between george foreman and those five people was if any of those five dudes could knock out george foreman because he was this complete monster at the time i think only per I think he had only lost once before he lost to Ali or something crazy like that. He had this insane reputation and that was what drew, drew a lot of people in for the fight. And while KSI doesn't have the same type of reputation, a lot of people are still going to be watching this fight. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything I have to say about this situation. Uh, regardless of what happens, this should be an interesting event. And so somebody on KSI's PR team is definitely doing a good job because now a lot of people on the internet are talking about this event a lot more than would have talked about it if this never happened. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.